I just had an amazing experience here in Riga, Latvia, and the major reason for that revolves around this lovely little thing. So it all started when I was making my way back to my apartment after a long day of exploring. I think I walked around 10 miles just taking photographs and videos and so I was going to call it an early day. And as I was making my way back, I crossed my favorite park which is called Bazdeshkalna Park. And so that's the one with the canal running through it and it's very beautiful and very scenic. I heard music and singing and huge groups of uh, people and tourists just uh, watching and partaking in some of the festivities that were happening. And everything that was happening at this park that very moment has to do with Midsummer Festival. Now, this wasn't the official Midsummer Festival that is scheduled to go down in a couple of days from now, Sunday and Monday to be exact. Ever since I've gotten to Riga, there's been this build up to this weekend. What I encountered there was just something on a smaller scale that catered to uh, tourists, obviously, if they were choosing that park. Now, just to go back a little bit, uh, Midsummer Festival is the celebration of summer solstice, also known as Janis, Janis, Janis. Again, not very good with names, especially if they're in another language, but uh, Midsummer Festival, we're just gonna go with that for now. It's a worldwide celebration, but what I've been led to believe and what I've read and what I've heard and what I've experienced, hence the reason for this video, is that Riga, or Latvia in general, has one of the biggest and best celebrations for that. I got a little bit of a taste of it today, and I am very excited for what is to come this weekend. It just got really dark really fast. So as I was making my way to the park, I started to record everything that I was watching on my DSLR, on my phone, on my Osmo Pocket, just because it felt like I needed to record every moment of it in every way imaginable. So there I was just swapping different cameras, recording, and just enjoying the moment, enjoying what I was watching. It was that spectacular. And as you'll see, I'm gonna play some of the footage that, um, I recorded on there for you guys. When I see things like that, it just it just blows my mind and specifically because I didn't plan for it. It's one of those things where you just stumble upon and you're just like, this is great. And after a while of just taking photos, taking video on all my devices, I had the DSLR and I was zooming in on one of the girls that was uh, singing part of the trio or the group, whatever you want to call it, and it was made up of uh, older ladies but the one that i saw was dance she was dancing around in the center and she was much younger she was around my age i'm looking at the at the screen at the back of my camera and then i see her look in my direction and then she just starts walking towards me and this entire time she started bowing and saying certain things in latvian and then she gets that little uh, crown of flowers which is that one right there and just puts it on my head and I'm wearing a baseball cap at this time so I could only imagine how it looks. She then hugs me and gives me a kiss on the cheek and so you know getting all red in the face, blushing a little bit, smiling from ear to ear and everybody just clapping and watching recording. I'm pretty sure I ended up on someone's social media feed but um, it was cool. Just that moment alone I was just taken back. After that, when she left back towards the stage and the dancing area, 
I was kind of just taking it all in, what just happened, that was very cool. That is when she kind of uh, waved to me to meet her in the dancing area. I'm her dance partner, and so I was a little hesitant. I was like, as long as we don't have to do anything crazy, like jump around or anything like that, I'm, I'm fine. I got a bunch of stuff with me, and I'm definitely not just gonna leave it off to the side with the crowd. And she said, no, it's, it's a very simple, traditional dance. And it was, it was just pretty much going in a giant circle. She led the way, a few twists and turns. I was just smiling ear to ear. The whole experience was amazing. People everywhere recording and photographing the whole situation. Once we stopped dancing, once the song ended, we bowed to one another. I said, thank you. She said, thank you. It was one of the coolest experiences that I've had up to this point and maybe in my entire traveling career because I've never done such a thing. Once I got back to the apartment, it just kept replaying and replaying and uh, very grateful to be able to experience something like that. Now, I know the whole event was catered specifically for tourists, but it was still an amazing experience, especially for somebody that is more introverted than extroverted. I would have been completely happy just being in the background, taking photos and videos, but uh, to be brought into the center, into where all the action was going on, by this beautiful Russian young lady was quite the experience. And she was, you know, dressed in that outfit that shows, you know, how things were back in the day, made it that much more special. So what's the moral of the story here? Well, I'm pretty sure that I could get deep and ramble on about how one should always be at the forefront of life and everyday activities to allow the gods, the travel gods, to put you in positions that are gonna be very favorable to you at the end of the day, but I'm not gonna go that route. Um, I will leave this video by saying that I am a big fan of beautiful women walking up to me and putting these crowns and hugging me and giving me a kiss. I think that is a beautiful tradition that should be carried over to the United States maybe make that a weekly thing, ladies. Um, oh, and uh, these crowns were handmade. She got the flowers and she made it herself. Don't just go buy it, make it. Go pick the flowers, make it, and then go to your, your, your favorite guy, place that on, give him a hug, give him a kiss. You know, we appreciate these things, these small things. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that's it for this video. I just wanted to share with you guys this uh, overall experience. And um, yeah, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit that little notification button, and I will catch you in the next one. But in all seriousness, niece, nephew, if you guys are watching during your young adult life here, um, I highly recommend that you place yourself at the forefront of life and everyday activities. That way the gods, the travel gods, will work in your favor to amp up each experience you have. And that was the case for myself on this little uh, event, this little video that I talked about. But um, it's also shown throughout my previous trips that uh, once you put yourself out there a little bit, uh, great things will happen. So yeah, just uh, always do your best. If I, if I had one thing to say, always do your best. Don't be scared, kick ass. So yeah, peace. I'm done this time. There's actually a wall right there. There was nowhere to walk, so I think I should have staged it a little bit better, but I'm going this, this way now. <laughs>